in VLSI Digital Circuit Design, we may use the combo of P MOSFETs and N MOSFETs in uh, various configurations to implement um, a variety of digital logic. Here is where the switch and resistor model of uh, MOSFETs really excel at abstraction, which can give us a lot of insight. Take the most basic example of a NOT gate, implementing a NOT gate. This is VDD. The NOT gate can be implemented with a combination of a P MOSFET in series with an N MOSFET. This is the input terminal and this is the output terminal. When the logic 1 when the logic 1 is applied to the input of uh, the MOSFET of MOSFETs, um, the uh, resistor and uh, stick, uh, the resistor and switch model would look um, like this and the MOSFET is, uh, and the uh, inverter is actually sinking current to ground, it's being pulled to ground whereas when uh, the input is set to a logic zero the model becomes something like this where the um, node is being pulled up to logic one implementing a one through different combinations of gates we can implement more complex logic for instance, a <coughs> NOR gate. This is the input A and the input B. This being A and this being B. This is a NOR gate. Or a NAND gate. A, B, <coughs> so we can use a network of uh, P and N MOSFETs um, to construct a variety of uh, different logic gates, different logic functions, and we are not just constrained to uh, the canonical NOT gates, AND gates, NAND gates, or NOR gates. More complicated uh, multi-input functions could be implemented. For instance, if we wish to implement a majority gate, it would look something like this We have A, B, B, C, A, C, A, B, B, C, A, C, and this has a truth table, B, C with an output. This would be, if all are zeros, this would be a logic 1, logic 1, logic 1, logic 0, logic 1, logic 0, logic 0, logic 0. So this actually implements a majority not gate. And we can always cascade this with um, a simple not gate to implement the majority function.
So we see that by using a network of P and NMOS, we may be able to create a variety of different logic um, functions, logic implementations, and the uh, resistor and switch abstraction allows us to think very intuitively about the function of um, such um, MOS switch networks. Now, in the design of VLSI digital circuits, we are principally interested, uh, besides correctness of function, in the performance of the circuit from the perspective of its speed, as well as the quantity of energy consumed per unit operation. Of course, in the ideal, we would like an infinitely fast speed, uh, operating with um, almost zero energy, but this is not physically possible. And the resistor switch network also allows us to very intuitively compute um, the speed, uh, estimate the speed and the energy usage using our knowledge of uh, RC circuits. Now, due to the nature of um, individual, um, the, the physics of individual MOSFETs, each of these nodes has capacitances associated with it. And these capacitances arise from the uh, physical structure of the MOSFET and will be um, discussed in a future lecture. But the major idea then is to try to understand and to model the value of the resistances of individual MOSFETs and the value of the capacitances of individual MOSFETs and then to subsequently um, compute uh, using uh, our knowledge of RC circuit analysis the response time of voltage changes at nodes of interest, for instance the output node here, as well as the total energy consumed by the switching of these networks. And uh, this is the principle for how we would uh, estimate the performance of uh, complex digital VLSI circuits. The only difference being that in uh, uh, MOS devices, uh, modern day MOS devices, the resistance and the capacitance at these nodes are not fixed, they are not uh, constant uh, properties, they are subject to um, changes in the value of the applied voltages, VGS, the voltage applied on the gate, they are also subject to um, the region of operation of the MOSFETs and this will be a topic of um, future lectures. But the idea here is to understand in detail the relationship between current and voltage in different operating regimes over time and this actually gives us an indicator of the resistance and to also understand the relationship between charge and voltage also under different operating conditions, different biasing conditions of the MOSFET and this will give us an idea of the uh, capacitance. And since these models are complex, they are numerically implemented and we use a complex uh, simulator like SPICE to compute um, the time, uh, the transient response that gives us the speed as well as the energy consumption.